Hi hamster lovers and welcome to this week's video. This week I'm going to be talking about my hamster care journey so far. Pancake was born on the 9th of September 2021. We adopted him on the 28th of November when he was 11 weeks old. Pancake is my first hamster. This is a video of him coming home in his travel carrier. His first cage was the Zoo Zone 2 enclosure. This enclosure has 775 square inches of floor space, which is the minimum in Germany. I also had around 7 inches of carefresh bedding mixed with Timothy hay, which was okay. This is what the cage looked like overall. It also had an 11 inch wheel. There was pretty much no enrichment in this enclosure though. I also didn't have any forage sprays and I didn't scatter feed. I was also using an unsafe type of sand that was too dusty, but I thought that I couldn't find any other safe types. He was kept in this cage for about 5 months. The food that the breeder was feeding him wasn't very good as it was very high in sugar and fat. And at this time he only had a water bottle. He took about 3 months to tame. This was his second cage setup which wasn't any better than the first one. This was his first more natural cage setup. It had a larger sand bath and I was feeding a better type of food as well as it had hemp bedding. His fourth cage setup was a lot better than the previous few. It was more cluttered and it had more enrichment and foraging and different substrates. This was the cage setup I had when I made my first YouTube video. I put about 9 inches of bedding in this cage setup which is when Pancake started to borrow. I also got a larger hideout and a water bowl. I started scatter feeding a higher quality food mix, but I was still using the unsafe sand. This was when I added some extra forage, a walnut, a cork log and some sprays. After a while, Pancake started to chew on the bars of the enclosure which I knew was a stress behaviour so I decided to upgrade the enclosure. I started using the Song Mix playpen. This setup was very enriching, but unfortunately Pancake kept on escaping from this. I used to wake up and find Pancake just running across my room. The first time he escaped he climbed on top of his water bottle. So I decided to put some plexiglass and some bars over the top of the enclosure. This didn't stop him from escaping. This was the last cage setup that I ever did in this enclosure and I really liked it. It was very enriching and had lots of things to keep the hamster busy. I had a larger sand bath full of unsafe sand and lots of forage and sprays. He started chewing at the sides of the enclosure and managed to create several holes in which he was able to escape from. I tried to block off the walls but that didn't really work. I got so sick of him escaping that I decided to upgrade the enclosure. This was the temporary bin cage that I kept him in while I was changing the enclosure. Here is all of the damage that Pancake did to the enclosure. So I decided to upgrade to something that was escape proof. It was more expensive than my previous two enclosures but it was definitely worth it. I also started to use safe calcium free reptile sand and an 11 inch cork wheel. It had a lot of enrichment such as forage sprays and different substrates. Then I decided to get some platforms to put heavy objects on as well as a multi-chamber hideout. I was using natural Katie clean and cosy bedding at this time. All of these enclosures had around 8 or 9 inches of bedding. I quite like this one because the different substrates were at the front. At this time I got really into researching proper hamster care and found out loads. I started adding underground burrow starters. I added a bit more bedding and he started creating really cool burrows. But then I downgraded his setup and he started showing stress behaviours such as monkey barring and wall scaling. He used to climb up on top of the strip of glass in the middle of his cage and then jump off and I was worried that he would get hurt. He would then turn onto his back and scratch the bars. This was very loud and woke me up. I think there was a possibility that he learned that if he did this then I'd come up and get him out of the cage. Because that's what I did pretty much every time he did this. Because this enclosure didn't really have much enrichment he would try and escape by climbing up onto the glass. Then I upgraded to this which was okay but it still didn't have much enrichment. And the bedding wasn't really deep enough. I decided to make some DIY platforms. These were okay but they kind of limited how much bedding I could put into the enclosure. Pancake and I didn't really like this enclosure so I upgraded it pretty quickly. 
I think this was the best setup that I did with the platforms because it had lots of enrichment and different substrates. It also had around 9 inches of bedding. Again, my Halloween setup was very similar to the last setup. It was pretty good though as Pancake didn't show any stress behaviours. After the Halloween started to wear off, the cage didn't really have much enrichment and he started showing stress behaviours by chewing at the silicone. And this is my most recent setup. It has around 12 inches of hemp bedding, an 11 inch wheel, a multi-chamber hideout, a sand bath with safe sand, as well as plenty of sprays and forage. This is definitely the most enriching setup I've done so far. Pancake also seems to really enjoy it. Here are some pictures. It's been surprisingly easy to maintain. It's taken about a year to get to this point with my hamster care. I've also improved his diet since I first got him. It's a lot more varied and it has the right balance of macronutrients. Luckily I've never used any really unsafe products like hamster balls. I did research a lot before getting a hamster and have always used a playpen. That's the end of this week's video, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below how your hamster care journey went, see you next time, bye!